Hi, welcome to London. Happy that you are here with us. This is Carla. She traveled all the way from Sao Paulo to explore London for a couple of days. Right now, she is doing a tour with Tom and a group of internationals. She chose this city walking tour because there are some alternative sites and locations on the bucket list. Unfortunately, she is a bit late. Good afternoon, welcome everyone. My name is Tom and I'll be your tour guide this afternoon. We'll explore London together and I'll show you some interesting alternative spots. London has some great initiatives and projects focused on making it a more sustainable city. We'll be walking a lot, so be prepared to burn some calories, but no worries. We will have breaks and get some nice food along the way. I guess we have everyone, so let's start our tour. Hi, are you the tour guide? I am Carla. Sorry for being late. I got lost in the tube. Hi Carla, welcome. My name is Tom, and yes, I'll be your tour guide today. No worries, it happens all the time. Where are you from? Hello, Tom. Thank you so much for the warm welcome. I am from Sao Paulo, Brazil. I'm very happy to be here and learn about alternative spots and initiatives in London. Ooh, Brazil. Sounds lovely. I hear they have great music and food, and it's always sunny. Are you here for the holidays? Yes. I always wanted to travel to London. I will stay for two weeks. That's great. And I hope today's tour will be a good start to your travels. London really has some really cool things to do, but today we'll focus more on green and sustainable initiatives. So, this is our first stop. I hope you've arrived hungry. This is London's famous Borough Market, which has existed in some form for hundreds of years. Now, lots of its products come from farms in the home counties around London or are even produced in London, in urban farms and community gardens that we'll see along our route. Everyone will have time for a stroll on the market. You can always ask for a tasting and, of course, buy some fresh fruits or veggies. This is fantastic. In Sao Paulo, we also have similar markets where fresh organic food is sold directly from producers in the metropolitan area. It's really nice to know where your food comes from, and regional food is also much more sustainable, right? Absolutely. Sustainability in food production is a global concern. The idea of this market is sourcing fresh and ethically produced foods directly from organic growers to support local agriculture and food cycles. It's great to hear that Sao Paulo has similar initiatives. What do they produce here most? What would you recommend? You should try the fresh raspberries from Ema's farm. They are amazing. And what are these containers here? This is where the market traders leave food that they haven't sold at the end of the day. A charity was established a few years ago that collects from all the stalls to make sure the delicious goods they produce find a home at food banks and community kitchens for people in need. In Sao Paulo, we have charities like these too, but they mostly collect from supermarkets. But it's good that they are looking out for the poor at the same time as minimizing their waste. What a great initiative. Everyone listen up. This is our next stop. It is a quite new and fascinating sustainable initiative, a pop-up restaurant that makes its food from rescued food. I met the owner a couple of months ago. It started as a one-time charity action after a market day, and now it has become a regular initiative to avoid food waste from supermarkets and street markets. Wow, that's really impressive. Such a great idea. Any questions before we have our lunch break and enjoy a sustainable meal? In Sao Paulo, we also have restaurants that fight food waste by making dishes from rescued ingredients and try to cook more sustainable by using all parts of an ingredient. But I never saw a pop-up restaurant close to a street market. This makes so much sense thinking of all the food wasted at the end of a market day. That's great to hear, Carla. It's amazing to see similar initiatives springing up all over the world. Nowadays, we have several pop-up restaurants here in London working closely with supermarkets to rescue surplus food and create delicious meals from it. And some supermarkets even have their own cafes where they cook using surplus from the shop floor. Some also collaborate with local farmers to transform inedible foods into animal feed. That's really inspiring. Reducing food waste is such an important mission when we think of the climate crisis and planetary boundaries. Initiatives like this help conserve resources. Yes, but they also sell the food to an accessible price, so they not only reduce food waste, but also provide people in need with good, sustainable, and healthy food. There are also many people from the neighborhood working here voluntarily, so it also has a deeper social impact and connects people from the community. Oh, this is similar to the community kitchens we have in my neighborhood in Sao Paulo. In these last days of the economic crisis, and especially during the COVID pandemic in Brazil, 
they were so important for low-income families and people. A woman in my street started this project some years ago. When I am back home, I will speak with her about the possibility of collaborating with street markets or supermarkets. What a wonderful idea! This is why I like it so much to do these tours with people from different parts of the world. We can learn from and with each other. But I know you must all be hungry, so let's eat. We're at our next stop. I'll let the owner tell you a bit about this initiative. We created this initiative seven years ago because we saw that many people from our community struggled to buy fresh and healthy food in the bigger supermarket chains. At the same time, the big supermarkets were throwing away so much food at the end of the day. We thought there was an opportunity to avoid food waste and help the community at the same time. We made a deal with some supermarkets in this area to sell close to expire food and not so good looking veggies and fruits to us and connect with charities that coordinate and transport the food to us. We can sell them cheaper because of the repricing. Many people are grateful to buy their food here. Some of the veggies and fruits that might go off soon are used to make fresh juice or vegetable dips in-house. We also sell these. You should try a juice. Today we have a kiwi, lemon and spinach juice. It is really refreshing. Oh, I would like to try the juice. Okay, let's go inside and you can explore a bit more. Oh, this is nice. I have never seen something similar in Sao Paulo. All these sustainable initiatives and projects do such a valuable job of protecting the environment and helping communities as well. Yes, as I said before, I think these tours can help to connect people from different countries to learn together about how we can actually have an impact and create more sustainable cities. When I travel abroad, I always try to find similar kinds of tours. I was wondering now if someone offers a similar tour in Sao Paulo. I'm not sure, but you should definitely check for one, and if there's nothing out there, start one yourself. That is a great idea. We could even create a common platform for people to find these types of sustainable tours in different places around the world. Great idea, but now we really need to continue our tour. There are still tons of fascinating sustainable initiatives to discover.